And I can eat a crazy amount of jalapenos. I can bite into an onion like an apple. I eat lots of raw garlic, just like literally just raw. Bella Thorne channels Marilyn Monroe getting candid about her love triangle, life after Disney, and fame. We're getting to know Bella like we never have before. As if you didn't already know everything about Bella from her Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, the actress sat down with Harper's Bazaar for a new shoot featured on their site. First, let's talk about Bella joining most of young Hollywood in channeling Marilyn Monroe for the spread. Inside the article, she talks about life after the Disney Channel, she said, people will ask me, who are you now? But this is who I've really been. You just didn't see me before. I was just a puppet. I wasn't allowed to make my own decisions or think for myself in any way. On her relationship status, she said, I'm single as I could not be more single. This is the longest I've been super single. There are so many unwritten rules about dating, which I don't like. I'd rather be super faithful and give my all to one person. I don't like having my phone blown up by a bunch of different guys where I don't really know where I stand with any of them. Well, I guess I would have never guessed that given her recent track record, but I actually like that she would like to have a healthy relationship. And I got a little sad when she talked about the holidays saying, quote, it's very lonely. I don't have much family, so if I'm in a relationship with somebody, they kind of become my family in that way. On what she's looking for in a relationship, well, that might surprise you. She said, I've done other stuff with girls, but I really want to actually date a girl. She then talked about how it's hard to read girls saying, I can't tell if a girl is hitting on me or she just wants to be friends. And I don't want to flirt with a girl if she thinks I'm just being her friend. Yeah, that could get awkward. As for her dream girl, that would be Kristen Stewart. And on her love triangle with Charlie Puth and Tyler Posey, she cleared the air saying, Charlie thought I was spending the holiday with Tyler and he tweeted all this making me look like a cheater and a whore. I had to basically bang down his door, calling him like, what the F are these tweets? This guy is publicly slandering my name and making me seem like I'm a whore. I'm a woman, I have the right to date around. If I wanna go out with you, I can, and if I don't, I'm not going to. Okay, gal, preach. Talking about the downside of fame, she said she has to worry about someone photographing her acne and how they'll spin the story in the press. There is even more where that came from if you visit the online article where you'll find it's accompanied by 100 seconds of video questions with Bella as well. How long does it take me to get ready in the morning? It really depends on where I'm going. Most of the time I don't wear any makeup. I wear like pimple cream out on my face, like the big white stuff. And yeah, I just let everybody see it and I really don't give a f In other Bella news, she recently took to Instagram to tease new music, which we know is coming out this year. Just call if you need me, call if you don't. Call if you love me, call if you won't. Call me a call me a fool. All right, you guys, let's talk about this Bella interview as well as her new music in the comment section below. And then you can click right here to get all the details on Nicki Minaj's new collab. Also hit that subscribe button. I'm Ryland Adams. I'll see you soon.